Hello there, welcome to my channel. Today I will be starting with the important questions for BPD students. First year anatomy. Remember, BPD students, anatomy is one of the most, most and the most important subject for you along with biomechanics. This subject anatomy will meet you in second year in exercise therapy and third year, fourth year, neuroanatomy, PT in cardio, PT in um, every particular thing it meets you. So do not sell your 3 BDC Chaurasia if you're following Chaurasia textbook. Now let's start. What do BPT? As an anatomist working more than 14 to years experience teaching uh, physiotherapy students, I'll let me tell you something. If you're BPT, remember the paper will be set in this fashion first year student concentrate understand what they are trying to uh, mean to you joints do not leave any joint this is a 10 marks standard question in the first long essay joints any joint you cannot ignore any joint in this second thing will be the muscles and the movements i mean i mean say the five marks muscles almost all the superficial deep muscles are important from both upper limb lower limb thorax abdomen anterior abdominal wall posterior the head and neck region and nerves, you know, starting from your median nerve, the radial nerve, and all the femoral nerve, all these intercostal nerves, and these nerves are very important for you. So as plexus, BDP students should know that brachial plexus, cervical plexus, lumbosacral, these three plexus are very important for you to understand. 10 marks. These are all standard golden line questions. Next, artery and veins. Like any MBBS students, BPD students will study in detail about the artery, that is an axillary artery, femoral artery, you know, coronary artery, and all these important arteries of the upper and lower limb, including the veins there. And 100% osteology, you know, you start your all biomechanics class with the bones. So osteology of all the long bones, mainly the long bones and um, the blades, as well as a little, little bit of embryo and histo. And now one thing you never forget, which I'm adding in front of you, is neuroanatomy. That's the part which I'll come in the second. This video is classified in three types. First now, keep your textbook ready, volume one, that is the upper limb. I'm going to teach you from that only. I'm going to tell you which are the important questions in this. And um, please remember, this is from 14 years of experience. These questions are coming. I may be wrong. Also, it's human to uh, do mistakes. Just try to adjust with this. I'll, I'll three videos. These are three videos part. So the first video is here. Remember for 10 marks question. What are the questions? We're going to come now. We're going to start now. Introduction to upper limb. I'm following Billy Sichorasia here. Here. We have an upper limb, the first second chapter, first of all, will be the bones. All the osteology part is given here. Just read the bones in detail. So you must have studied about the clavicle, scapula, humerus, radius, everything here. Here, you not, I need you to know, question may come as upper end of humerus, that is upper end of humerus, lower end of humerus, and the uh, glenoid cavity of scapula, the radius, ulna, these are all osteology. It, this bones of the upper limb chapter includes only for five marks. This one, this one. Two marks also, the sesamoid bones, the name, the uh, carpals, all those type of things may come here. Chapter number three, pectoral region. Very important. In this region, you need to know in detail about the mammillary gland, which comes for you for five or ten marks, most probably five marks, and also the pectoralis major muscle. Please do not forget anything about this muscle. The pectoralis major muscle is a five mark question. If they don't ask that, they have asked you the minor. Uh, pectoralis put major and minor. So this has only 10 and 5 marks, 2 questions perhaps. The axilla, only just one of the most favorite chapters for physiotherapy students. In axilla, by heart, this king, the brachial plexus, I call the king because it's 10 marks and the most vital. If they don't ask brachial plexus, get ready with the median nerve for 10 marks or radial nerve for 10 marks or even ulnar nerve. It's generally 5 but it may come for five, uh, 10 marks. The brachial plexus 100% is going to come for 10 marks. Next 10 marks. It's it's like question paper here itself given for you. Axillary artery for 10 marks. And uh, another thing will be the, uh, the contents of axilla, which is just a very important question in this. For 5 marks become contents of axilla, uh, which is asked in this. In the back, nothing here, nothing much triangle. I don't uh, go in that. Here in the back, I would just ask you to concentrate on the number one, the trapezius. Do not read anything other than in this chapter trapezius 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 five mark question a vital muscle seen in the backside uh, and this muscle is going to be for five marks if they don't ask this that's a rare thing but then get ready for the rhomboidus major and minor may come together and even the teres 
uh, major these three muscles okay the trapezius tefer trapezius tefer teres major minor and alpha rhombodius in this chapter all of our five marks nothing else in this next we go for this particular chapter number six where they're telling the lymphatic drainage in the nerves here just as i mentioned nothing just ignore that but the seventh chapter here is what again the most important the king here in this chapter is the deltoid deltoid is for five marks and very important muscle also because i'm in the shoulder and the scapula region read about the muscles of the rotatory cuff you know i'll teach you separate that that is separately in the shoulder joint but muscles can question can come to you name the rotatory cuff of the shoulder joint that is the also the muscles here Next, also very important will be the axillary nerve, which is with the artery is coming, the nerve itself may come here in this region. Next is a chapter number eight, the arm, the front of the arm here, go for all those things. Musculocutaneous, I just mentioned about the brachial artery, the large nerves, which I meant to say the radial as well as the median. Also, the muscles here in this one for you to buy heart for five marks will be muscles of the anterior compartment maybe go for your uh, deltoid muscles biceps brachialis triceps brachialis itself brachialis muscle and the um, this 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 is enough for in this chapter all i think so for five marks questions except the uh, here this is around uh, for five marks just go for this one that's uh, maybe the only thing here is radial nerve which i've just explained at that time it may come for 10 marks understand it's very simple to pass very difficult to fail understand there are questions present here and we know what it comes so just follow my video please with very seriousness don't leave anything forearm chapter number nine gives you the same thing the deep muscles the superficial muscles here the question may come to you is superficial muscles of forearm you know how do you write about that and here the uh, ulnar compartment uh, forearm uh, compartment of ulnar now the median now which extends even to this region so they supply that region and they just make questions may come here the uh, all the muscles of the uh, forearm this is my separate video i'll send a link here where you can observe all the muscles of the forearm superficial deep everything which i've given for you do not forget here two important things that is your flexor retinaculum for five marks hundred percent question both for foot as well as for hand it will be asked carpal tunnel very important for physiotherapy students know about this what question may come to you carpal tunnel the contents of carpal tunnel add a note on carpal tunnel syndrome Palmar epineurosis is a very important blood supply of that region and also uh, we know about the intrinsic muscles. The 10 marks question is this, that is the describe in detail the thenar and hypothenar muscles of the uh, arm, sorry of the hand and the questions may come here for 10 marks this vision. Superficial palmar arch, okay, just 5 marks it may come and uh, anatomical snuff box, this one. Anatomical snuff box here again, it's not given this region, but must be given the book for five marks. Extensor retinaculum, and uh, uh, this, this, that's enough. That's enough for you people to read in this, in this chapter, chapter number nine. Concentrate on the 10 marks question, which is just nothing but the thenar hypothenar muscles, the carpal tunnel, flexor retinaculum, as well as the uh, anatomical snuff box. This one. Let's go for the most important what the physiotherapy students are made up of, the joints. Do not ignore anything. Sternoclavicular, 5 marks. Acromoclavicular, 5 marks. Shoulder joint, by default, 10. Otherwise, it may ask a question, muscles of shoulder joint, movements of shoulder joint. If they don't ask 10 marks, us, uh, shoulder joint. So you read for 10 marks everything in this. Elbow joint, 10 marks. Radio ulnar joint, 10 marks. Do not forget anything. And here, if they don't ask elbow joint, get ready for carrying angle to come a separate 5 marks. If they don't ask radio ulnar joint, annular ligament, interosseous membrane for 5 marks. What does a king do? What does a beggar do? Supination and pronation, the muscles responsible for 5 marks. Wrist joint, again, is a 10 marks question. Movements, joints of the hands are irritating. 2 marks questions, very important. Students will go on study in biomechanics later on, but just you can uh, know about this. What are the muscles and uh, ligaments responsible for joints in this region? Now, this is the, you can only concentrate 60% for what I just told now. In the thorax, of course, you need to go to the thorax. First, just here in the thorax, just know about a typical rib for 5 marks. You may get costal cartilage for 5 marks. Sternum is a bone for 5 marks. They must, they must, students, remember one thing. 
the examiners know that you have studied all the joints and uh, uh, you must have concentrated too much on the humerus, ulna radius and the carpals. They, they know that. So that reason they will purposefully ask sternum and the vertebral column. I know differentiation between the first and the twelfth thoracic vertebrae. So just read about that also. Expect a five marks called joint of thorax of five marks or any of these irritating joints which are a little bit very easy to understand. The intervertebral, the costochondral and the all of two marks or five marks. Intervertebral disc is a 5 mark question, common, and uh, that's it in this region. And continuing the thorax region, let's go for the thorax region. We have here intercostal nerve and artery for 5 marks, azogus vein. The most important vein here is the azogus vein for 5 marks. 100% question is going to come from here. And thoracic duct, thoracic duct. One more question, very important here the thoracic duct and cisternal chile. This is uh, questions which I just told you thoracic duct, cisternal chile, the lymphatic drainage part, and that part of the thorax region for 5 marks. Thoracic cavity, pleura for 5 marks, 100%. Do not read anything else. It may come for 2 marks most commonly. Because you'll go in second year and study pathology and medicine and surgery in third year, this all will meet you. So they will 100% ask these questions. Lungs, the question simply comes. Describe in detail the anatomy of the right lung. Right lung. 10 marks question. If they don't ask this, get ready for bronchopulmonary segments. I'm going to give 10 stars for this. Bronchopulmonary segments is the most important question in the lung chapter. Don't read, do not miss this. Or the next after this will be the root of lungs for 5 marks. This is how the program goes, guys. Please understand and follow me what I'm telling to you. The lungs chapter, read lungs for 10 marks and get full ready for root of lung and the most favorite of all the bronchopulmonary segments. Continuing here, the mediastinum. Again, we have here in mediastinum. It's it's a, it's a, itself a five mark question, and the contents of the uh, anterior and the middle mediastinum. That is how they ask this question. And uh, sternal angle in this in the angle of Lewis. It's a very important question for five marks. Please read the contents here. Next question will be the pericardium for five marks and directly jump into the most important thing, the heart. Heart is asked for 10 marks. Remember, you have PT in cardiology. So this is the most important expected question of heart. If they don't ask heart, get ready for right atrium. The most favorite question perhaps asked in anatomy history is describe in detail the right atrium and add a note on others perhaps. This is the right atrium is the most important part for you to study here. I would not concentrate much on the right ventricle, left ventricle. I mean, I'll just, just jump because of the valves of the heart, two or five marks, conduction system, five marks, the blood supply of heart. If that examiner is not asking you heart, not asking you surprisingly right atrium, he may ask you the conduction system of heart. Very important, the coronary arteries, the right and left, describe about it. And uh, just uh, uh, nerve supply, okay, can just write it about that. I'm not much important in that region. The cardiac veins, two marks, anterior, great cardiac vein, two marks question. And continuing, because you have a chapter, I'm going exactly by the syllabus given by the physiotherapist uh, council. So physiotherapy council, so I'm in that way, the superior vena cava is for five marks. You have your ascending iota or arch of iota for five marks. And... Uh, Pulmonary trunk for 5 marks. These are all chapters only for 5 marks. Also concentrate on the trachea as I said to you. For 5 marks. This comes in the lung chapter. Esophagus. Okay. You can worry. Thoracic duct. Read this. Read this. Read this. In this chapter remember something very important. For 10 marks question will be either a nerve or in uh, plexus, which I mentioned, perhaps a brachial plexus in this region, joint, every joint. I don't want you to ignore anything in this. And a systemic organ, such as lungs or the heart. This questions are here in this chapter. And the pack of muscles, maybe the muscles. Can you describe in detail the rotary cuff? Describe the muscles of the forearm, superficial, deep, deepest. And including, describe in detail the uh, muscles of the anterior compartment of arm or the posterior, the triceps, uh, brachialis. And uh, this is how the questions come for 10 marks. Concentrate on this chapter, very important chapter. And uh, wait for my second video. Please share this one. Understand? Open the textbook, keep the textbook ready. I may go wrong a little bit here and there, but I am at least 80% correct. Follow me, trust me. Thank you. Wait for my second video.